In today's video, we're going to be looking at the Cleveland Cavaliers and how they are such an amazing team this year and what makes them good going into the future. Let's get down, let's check them out. If you're a basketball coach, make sure to go check out my complete guide to the five out basketball offense down in the description below. So right here on the court is a prime example as to why they're going to be such an amazing team. They've got two close to seven foot or if not over seven foot players who are going to be crashing the boards. Donovan Mitchell, Garland, absolutely amazing line, even Levert. So what do we have here? Wing to point pass. After that point pass, we have a screen who then rolls towards the basket. Donovan Mitchell uses that screen. And at this time, this was covered quite well. There's two players making a wall here, and this is really well covered. There was no pass going into that player. However, the footwork is what makes this such an amazing shot. So if you're a basketball player watching this, if you're going towards the right side and you're a right-handed player, watch Donovan Mitchell's footwork. He pushes off that right outside foot and plants his feet where he likes to have his feet. They're not too wide. They're in his regular stance so that when he goes up for that shot, he's nice and balanced and his right arm is in line. If he was to somehow try to push off his left foot, he would not be balanced. But by pushing off his right foot, he's balanced. He has his body in line where he wants to be in line. And of course, he's able to get his shoulder and elbow in line with the rim. Absolutely fantastic shot. Now, this is where it starts getting dangerous. You've got two, might as well say, seven-footers on the floor setting a screen up top where one of the bigs has already taken up a seven footer from the other team. Mobley then rolls towards the basket and what is this man supposed to do? The bigs on this side, there's no help defense coming from the opposite side of a seven footer so that just means that Mobley is going to have a wide open dunk more times than not. And now when you start getting Lopez into this equation, it just starts getting silly. And then when you start getting some kind of a Hezzy King involved, it just becomes even more silly. This, this team's looking very athletic and very good for the future. The one thing that will get them in trouble is this. So their defense does have some issue, issues, in my opinion, and their defense is right here leaving a man wide open. The rotation that should have happened is Mitchell coming up and one of these two guys guarding this guy out here. But instead, nobody is covering up top, and that just leaves wide open threes. This, was, this has happened five or six times this game alone. And if we're looking at five or six threes, and I mean made possessions when this happens, we're looking at 15 points. That's a lot on the scoreboard that you could have defended and maybe only turned into seven points or potentially 10 points that saves potentially a game however this staggered screen action is really useful so what we have here is after the first screen and then there's a second screen Mobley the first man always rolls is absolutely wide open and because they're setting another big out on the wing that cannot play help at this time he's going to have an absolute feast down low now Look at this ball movement, it's beautiful. So we have a screen and roll on one side. And then he attacks the basket and kicks the ball out. There's some pretty good defensive rotations here. Man covers the corner, this man covers up here, but nobody is sprinting up to guard Garland. And he is a very good shooter, in my opinion, on the same level as some of the top at least five or six in the NBA. And I'm going to tell you right now, if you kick the ball out and you swing it once and sometimes swing it a second time, nobody is going to be recovering out to this third pass. Nobody. Even at the NBA level, nobody's going to be recovering out to there because they're just not expecting it. So because of that, there's open threes that are available if you can get ball movement like this. Anytime after a screen, whether the screen is used or not, if you are to roll to the basket, if your main guy didn't drive to the basket, obviously, but if you if your guy you screen for didn't use you, 
you can still get these dunks. Like, this is a really nice dunk, but because his man was no longer occupied with him, he rolled to the basket, Mitchell was able to get him the ball, and of course, Allen was able to do a kind of a fancy dunk to get to the rim. So this is actually a really good play as well. So here we have a dribble handoff, and then another scree screen. Because this man's going to hedge most likely on that second screen, you can get that pass through to Allen in this case, and he's able to finish at the rim. Now, he finished at the rim. If this guy didn't come down to play help like he did, then this pass or alley-oop would have been wide open for Mobley and it would have been game over at that point because that's one heck of a lob to a big to a big. And Mitchell just is a takeover man. He's a master at taking over a game, and that's what he did here. And how he was able to do this is he was able to split that screen, keep that ball low, and dribble it low so that he could get by that screen. Coming off of the screen and, of course, the switch, you automatically know that if you've got a big man on you, you need to move quick because he's going to be lost. Here he breaks the guy's ankle. Sabonis' ankles were broken, and Mitchell was able to capitalize. He was able to do this because Sabonis, no matter how much he was trying to stay with Mitchell, he kept on crossing his feet here, which then, of course, he crossed them again here, which then just allowed that shot to be wide open. Pin down screens are a great way of being able to get open, but this one's kind of interesting. So first, we have an elevator screen to the post, which then turned into a pin down for Mitchell for the three point shot. Almost like a like a warrior style play. This was very nice. Now in this game, the, the comeback is on. They're getting close, they're getting close, and the, the, the Sacramento Kings were giving up a good fight. But let's not forget that Mobley is a very big man, and these guys are gonna hedge hard on Mitchell because he's such a great ISO player especially coming off of a screen they're going to hedge hard so Mobley's always going to be wide open rolling to the basket here he's able to finish with the layup but if this guy came Sabonis came up too high this would have been an alley-oop to Allen so either way this was going to be a basket no matter what and he was able to get that make and of course get the lead now this game was a battle to the end however Cleveland came out on top Anyways, if you're a basketball coach, make sure to go check out my complete guide to the five-out offense down in the description below. And I'll see you guys again next time. I hope that you've enjoyed this Cleveland Cavaliers breakdown. They're a young team, a very big team with some really good guards. They look really complete. And over the next few years, I think that they could challenge the NBA championship. I'll see you guys next time.